Of course, joining me in the craft is none other than the woman herself, Nadia Mutala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you doing today, my darling? Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, only a pleasure. Now, we are all here, as you can see. It's such a vibe. We have everybody coming here, standing in solidarity uh, for Palestine. Tell us, you have a Lebanon flag with you. Before we get into why we are here, but like, tell me a little bit more about that. Okay, so we've obviously seen the escalation go into Lebanon, which is the same with Palestine. It's happened for years and it's happening again. We need to have this stop. It's over genocide for a year exactly today marks a year and we've now seen that it's escalated further into lebanon and the same destruction that we saw in gaza we're seeing the same thing here in lebanon we're here to represent lebanon and gaza and any other place that has been um uh, oppressed and um sudan and congo so we're here against oppression make us stand guys we will not tolerate this genocide any longer Absolutely. And tell us, you were here, of course, to stand in solidarity for the people of Palestine. It's been a year exactly. Tell me, what are your thoughts on that as well? Yeah, we've, we've seen this for a year and it's gotten more and more and more devastating. We've seen people being asked to move from the south to the north to the south to the north and then constantly being bombed. It's something that you see on the news on a daily um, it's devastating. We are seeing death in numbers and children just dying. This needs to end. It really isn't about religion anymore. It's become purely about humanity. And this is about saving this generation, saving these children, helping these children, helping these people. It has nothing to do with religion. We saw a lot of people come forth within the last year with different views mm. on it and at the end of the day mm. it is all about humanity stand up for humanity absolutely stop the genocide indeed but uh, nadia you know what do you think that the international community can do more or can do better to get the word out there i mean i think we've done so much we've done walks we've done so many different things so what do you think yes yeah. yeah, so what do you think the palestinian or rather the international community can do more of course, I, I hear what you're saying. I think that the social media presence that we're seeing this time around is bigger than anything we've ever seen before. And I must say that a lot of uh, the people that were not aware before have mm -hmm. now become aware. Mm -hmm. So you're seeing a lot more races, a lot more nationalities, a lot more people that were blind to the truth come and see the truth, mm. which is a positive. Absolutely. I think that the social media, let's call it the social media war and presence, mm -hmm. people continue. Absolutely. We need to keep fighting on as soldiers behind uh, the phone, so Absolutely. to speak, so that we say, free, free Palestine, and everyone knows that Palestine, Palestine needs to be free. And from the river to the sea, Palestine will be. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know you want to go and join the rest yes. of the team. I'll see you later, inshallah. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.